Welcome to chemistry concept and now we are going to solve the neat paper of 2016 and we are going to focus mainly on top 25 questions and now you will learn how to answer questions quickly during exam okay so the first question was about uh, the characteristic of adsorption okay and we and, and what is the formula actually del g is equal to del h minus t del s now during adsorption what happens that the randomness of molecule decreases that means it is negative and del h is also negative because adsorption is always exothermic so del s and our uh, del h are negative and consequently as for this formula it is clear that del g will also be negative fine so all dg dh and ds are negative now this one is a numerical now i'll tell you how to solve the numerical quickly see what happens uh, during this that two hydrogen ions take two electron and get converted into h2 okay now what is the nurse equation e is equal to e naught minus 0 0.059 by 2 because there are two electrons involved log pressure of h2 gas on the product side divided by concentration of hydrogen ion now because this is a neutral or pure water that's why the concentration of hydrogen ion would be 10 power minus 7 fine and e naught is 0 standard electrode potential of hydrogen is 0 and obviously uh, uh, the current one is also 0 now solving this for the value of pressure you'll get it is equal to 10 power minus 14 that means the answer is nothing but 10 power minus 14 atm now the next question is addition of catalyst during a chemical reaction obviously catalyst do nothing but it increase or decrease the rate of a chemical reaction by changing the activation energy it only affects the activation energy now you can see very well that the first equation is a first one is an elimination reaction a br is removed and a hydrogen is removed it is a beta elimination reaction okay now next one is you can see very well that a bromide is replaced by which it's a substitution reaction and the third one is an addition reaction bromine is added to the double bonded carbon okay so the correct option must be three that the a is elimination b is substitution and the c is addition reaction the next is the product formed by the reaction of an aldehyde with a primary amine now this is the reaction which takes place the aldehyde reacts with primary amine removal of water takes place and what we get is c double bond n r and that is called actually skiff base okay now, now the statement is about basicity of aryl amines what happens in case of aryl amines that means the amine attached to the benzene ring for example that the lone pairs are involved in resonance and if the lone pair is not involved in, is involved in resonance that means it is not available for donation that's why it, the resonance decreases basic strength fine so the correct option for this is uh, Second, that the aryl amines are generally less basic than alkyne amines because the nitrogen lone pair electrons are delocalized by the interaction with the aromatic ring. Okay, now there's a numerical again number of mole of uh, the rate of diffusion of R2 divided by rate of diffusion of hydrogen as per Gram's law of diffusion is equal to m by of H2 by molar mass of O2. Now, as per the question, number of mole of O2 per unit time divided by number of moles of hydrogen half in the given time is equal to whole under root 2 by 32 solving solving this you will be getting ratio is equal to 1 by 8 now we are talking about staggered and eclipsed confirmations of ethene so first of all staggered confirmation looks like this 
bonds are well apart okay there's lot of difference now eclipse confirmation is bonds are eclipse to one another because of which there's there's more repulsion or torsional strain in case of eclipse confirmation making it less stable thus the staggered confirmation of ethane is more stable than eclipse confirmation because staggered confirmation has no torsional strain next is we are talking about uh, that which of the following uh, is not correct order then then the, go to the option 3 actually what happens that the ionization energy of nitrogen is more than oxygen actually is it so yes the ionization energy of nitrogen is more stable because it has p3 configuration okay which makes it difficult to remove the electron from nitrogen than oxygen and thus the ionization energy of nitrogen is more than oxygen similarly in option 4 also it was a uh, question with double answers then the question in fourth one also uh, the electron gain enthalpy of chlorine is more than fluorine because size of fluorine is too small thus option 3 and option 4 the both should be correct because none of them explains uh, Uh, uh the variation correctly now in this you can see that an sodium salt of a ether or you can say it's a sodium alkoxide is reacting with an alkyl halide annex comes out results in formation of an ether and this is nothing but williamson ether synthesis Next question is about the reaction of copper with concentrated HNO3 it results in formation of CuNO3 whole twice plus 2NO2 plus water and if we have take we, we have taken concentrated if we have to taken dilute then we got an NO but here we are talking about concentrated HNO3 so the correct option is 2 protein molecules are actually nothing but they are peptide they have peptide bonds they are also called polypeptides and fog is actually a colloidal solution of gas in gas oh, it's not gas in gas sorry let me correct it is liquid droplets in gas okay so it was a fact based question very simple one now which of the following is is non reducing sugar and it is the answer is sucrose sucrose is a non reducing sugar it's another fact based question now the correct statement about dna and rna is dna is actually deoxy it's d has deoxy ribose sugar while rna has simply ribose sugar fine so correct statement is actually third one that the sugar in rna is ribose while in dna it's 2 deoxy ribose spontaneous for, for a reaction to be spontaneous as per the equation gibbs helmholtz equation del g is equal to del h minus t del s if del s is positive and del h is negative then it doesn't matter what is the temperature del g will always be negative so as per this okay okay just have a look at statement 2 that phosphonic acid is monoprotic acid let me draw the structure of phosphonic acid phosphonic acid is p attached to oxygen from one side there are two hydrogen and only one oh one oh means obviously it is monoprotic while phosphonic acid is like this one side oxygen and then there are two oh groups if there are two h groups obviously it is diprotic acid so so two was the correct statement now which of the following is analgesic another fact based question novalgin is a, a well known analgesic that means which can reduce the body pain now this was another very simple question which of the following is correct order of acidity greater the number of oxygen atom more easily the hydrogen would be released and more would be the acidity so the correct option was 3 actually fine it's about the reaction of k2cr2o7 with sulfur dioxide in the presence of sulfuric acid we get 
K2SO4 whole thrice water and K2SO4 fine so what we get we get actually uh, uh it, it's not K2 let me write it it's it's Cr2SO4 whole thrice so the correct statement is actually first that the green color Cr2SO4 whole thrice is formed now this was another very simple question based on valence shell electron pair repulsion theory and as per this lone pair lone pair repulsion is stronger than lone pair bond pair repulsion and the minimum and the and, and the uh, weakest one is bond pair bond pair repulsion and if actually two electrons are present in the same orbit that means they have same similar value of principal quantum number they have similar value of magnetic quantum number they have similar value of azimuthal quantum number but they have different spin quantum numbers now what is formed when CaC2 reacts with nitrogen then it is actually CaCN2 plus carbon okay so actually it, it, uh, it, this question was rejected actually this, this this should be the option should have been like this natural rubber is act isomer of it's uh, cis all it, uh, uh, all the monomers are arranged in cis conformation cis isoprene all the uh, monomers are cis okay bond dissociation and enthalpy is actually weak for fluorine there is a very small size of fluorine because of which in uh, inter electronic repulsions take place and it becomes easier to break the fluorine bond okay and thus the order becomes chlorine then bromine then fluorine and then iodine fine stay tuned for more updates on of neat and more videos on organic inorganic and physical chemistry and don't forget to subscribe and please leave your feedback in the form of comments